Hey everyone, welcome to Kim Yin Yoga. I'm Kim, and today we have a quick sequence for when you first get up. We're going to start out with a quick little stretch ditty. So I'm uh, tucking my toes under and I'm getting a beautiful foot stretch. Tent the fingers, put your forehead to the mat, and just take a deep breath in. Oh, and just sigh it out. Here we are. You've arrived on the mat. When you're done with this quick few minute <laughs> video, you will be warmed up from head to toe. <laughs> okay, come on up and lift the feet. I'm going to take a deep breath in. I'm in a bit of a half plank and I'm going to draw my elbow creases together, look forward and just drop down, exhale back up, down into pranam. We'll do that two more times. It just wakens things up. You know, it doesn't matter if we get up here and we just do this much and <laughs> back up. That's fine. You go as far forward as you want. Just keep your elbows tucked into your side. This is a little morning wake it all up exercise. Here's the last one. Remember, just a tiny dip if you want. Go a little further. Whatever your body feels like. We're activating the core, the arms, fingers, wrists, toes, ankles, <laughs> spine, everything is getting in on that one. Okay, from here we're going into deer pose. That means my left leg is going to be at a right angle in front of me and my right, uh, my right angle, <laughs> that right leg, is behind, at a right angle behind. It's not easy to get perfectly squared up, and I'm not going to have both sits bones on the ground. You might. Uh, my pelvis isn't going to do that for me. Not, not today. <laughs> so I'm stretching up, and we're going to do a twisted snake from deer pose. So left hand comes to the ground, right hand stays put. Left hand plants, and then I am twisting it around. To get here, you might want to go side body, stretch and then twist around. It just depends. You modify for you. And if twisted snake is hard for you to reach in this posture, tent your fingers. You're going to be right up there tented or grab a folded towel and twisted snake from here. As long as you are feeling it. If you want to feel the stretch in the back and side body. And of course, we're getting, the hips are getting a workout too because we're internally and externally rotating the hips. How's this for first thing in the morning? Deep breath in. <clears throat> Exhale it out. One more deep breath in. Elbow creases drawing towards each other. And exhale it out. Lean on back to Vishnu's couch so you're not putting any stress or strain on the pelvis as you come out of that. I'm into Vishnu's couch and I'm just going to roll it. You know this one, we do it all the time. Rolling uh, the back of the pelvis over the backs of the hands. We're activating all those beautiful meridian endpoints. Oh my goodness. Or starting points, depending on how we count. <laughs> okay, bring it on back up. We're just going to keep flowing through this because we want to be able to do a session every morning without uh, it running in, running late or feeling like, oh, there's not enough time to get on the mat. Okay, I've got my deer pose on the other side and left hand stays put right hand comes down. You can go straight into Twisted Snake if that works for you. Or give yourself a little side body bend. And my hair is stuck on my... There it goes. <laughs> Bobby pins. And then twist the snake. 
right around. It loves it. So fluid. Remember, tent your fingers if you if it's a bit of a reach or use your folded towel or bolster. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. One more deep breath in. We're feeling this everywhere. <laughs> and keeping those elbow creases, drawing the mat together, um, exhaling it out. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side, coming straight back into Vishnu's couch so I don't put any accidental twist or strain on the pelvis. And we're just going to windshield wiper the knees, the legs, so the hips can regulate, <laughs> normalize, and just feel a bit of relief there. It feels really good. All right, from here, we're going to come right back up, tuck our feet under, and I want you to find a nice toe squat. I'll scoot forward because part of us is going to go back. So I'm in the toe squat, and you might even want to spread your toes out. My, I won't start talking about my pinky toes. <laughs> anyway, spread your toes out. <laughs> Bring your hands back so my fingers are pointing towards my bum and my elbow creases are drawing towards each other so I'm not torquing or hyper flexing my elbow joints or my wrist joints. It also helps take some of the strain off of the uh, wrists, all those beautiful little wrist bones working for us, keeping things rotating. All right, and from here, you can also, if you want to just go into a, a uh, rainbow arch, push it right back. You're going to stretch your quads. Deep breath in. And exhale it out. Okay, let's come back up. We are nearly there in our warm-up. And from, from here, we don't actually have to go very far. I'm going to go back to the flat. Let the flat on my feet uh, sit down. Now, you might be up like this. It's okay, because that's where we're headed. Hands planted down on the mat, and I'm pushing right up into a beautiful forward fold. Now, bend your knee. It's morning. It's not quite morning for me anymore, <laughs> because there's been a lot of filming today, but uh, I'm probably way more warmed up than you right now. So... Remember, start with your knees bent. You can do the whole thing with your knees bent. You don't need to put added uh, stretch on the hamstrings unless you're ready for it. So you modify. It is so important for you to design each session, no matter who you're doing your yoga class with. Each session is privately designed for you. You've got to be your own best personal trainer. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. I'm going for the uh, straight leg just because I have done a few recordings already. And uh, it's a good chance when I'm warmed up to be able to get some fascist stretch in my uh, all along these large muscles in the backs of the legs here, so I'm going for that, but you can be quite happy to just be down here and just even leaning the upper body into the um, knees, absolutely fine. Splay the toes out to the side, I'm going to scooch up here a little bit, splay the toes out and you're coming down into a squat. Now, your squat can be up on your toes, heels up, toes up. You find your squat. Again, it's all about modifying, finding what's right for you. I'm going to get a Manchak Chia in, so I'm pushing my elbows into my the insides of my knees, and I am isometric. I'm pushing my knees into my elbows. Deep breath in. Exhale, ex 
exhale it out. We're going to come back to our favorite Tukasana. I've got my right foot into center this time, left foot in front. I love this Sukhasana. It's the one that you see those 5,000 year old uh, beautiful stone images of the yogi. And I just love the feel of it. Okay, arms up over the head. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to meet the day. Anjali Mudra, thumbs to the sternum, sternum to the thumbs. I'm lifting my chin. I am so grateful for all the experiences yet to unfold. And I'm so grateful for you all joining me.